Hey everybody, my name is Monsal and I'm with Neutropedia and today I'm in beautiful Austin, Texas in a park very close to my home and we're going to talk about Hooperzine A. So guys, Hooperzine A is a natural extract and it's a cholinergic compound and specifically it's an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor which means that this specific enzyme called acetylcholine esterase which breaks down a brain chemical called acetylcholine is removed or reduced in the brain which improves acetylcholine levels which can have improvements for your focus and attention but more importantly for learning and memory formation. So there's a number of different studies that show Hooperzine A has a few different benefits but I'm gonna go through four specific benefits today and the first is neuroprotection. So many studies look at whether Hooperzine A can protect the brain against trauma whether it be from chemicals or some other type of physical trauma. So the second benefit of Hooperzine A is neurogenesis. A study looked at Hooperzine A and the ability to increase hippocampal neural stem cells and they found that it was able to regenerate new cells at a rate faster than a placebo which is great for people who are learning new things or just in general being able to maintain a high level of cognitive function. So the third benefit is Hooperzine A can actually stall some of the neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, senile dementia, etc. For many of the million plus Alzheimer's patients, it's a great natural way to try and remedy some of the problems that come with Alzheimer's disease. So benefit number four of Hooperzine A is a either a side effect or a benefit depending on who you're talking to. But many people think of Hooperzine A as a creativity inducing compound. And the way that I have seen this used is through a specific anecdote from a, a writer named Derek Murphy. He writes fiction novels and he suggests that his usage of Hooperzine A is around three to four times per year and he does so for two to three day increments and he actually becomes manic as a result of using Hooperzine A. So this isn't recommended by any stretch, but it's an interesting side effect of Hooperzine A that might be a benefit for some. He utilizes his creativity during this period to outline books, to write books, and he's a best-selling author and has a numer numerous accolades. So of course his accolades come from much more than the Hooperzine A alone, but it does seem that there's some interaction, at least for him, with Hooperzine A and this manic creative state. So of course, as with any other drug, Hooperzine A has its side effects. And just because it's natural doesn't mean that this isn't the case. It's a very strong, potent cholinergic compound, which usually comes with side effects such as jaw pain, headaches, tension. So keep all of this in mind if you're gonna be taking this nootropic. So the second side effect, which is a little less common, than the headaches and jaw pain is a really outrageous dreams, very vivid dreams, sometimes night terrors. So keep that in mind because it activates this acetylcholine activity in the brain. If you take it too close to nighttime or just too high of a dose in general, it can lead to some issues with sleep and dream quality. So guys, most anecdotal evidence and some of the studies suggest that using Hooperzine A at a dose range of between 50 to 200 micrograms per day between one to three doses is your most effective range. Now keep in mind, it's probably a good idea to start off low and improve over time, but this is the suggested range. Now one common thing people do with Hooperzine A is cycle this drug and most cholinergics don't require cycling but as I mentioned earlier Hooperzine A is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. Now this means that a specific enzyme is down regulated and down regulating a specific enzyme too much can create a cascade of effects and Dr. Rhonda Patrick has talked on her most recent interview with Tim Ferriss 
Terrace about how receptor densities start to decrease after using some of these uh, enzyme lip rate limiting nootropics. Now I just want to leave you with a final note guys. Huperzine A is a natural compound, yes. It's an extract, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's always safe. It's a very strong compound and it has a very low dosage. Like I said, it's in the microgram range, which means you need a very specific scale if you're going to use the powder or you need to specifically find some capsules. Now. I personally have vendors that I've recommended because I've gone into their manufacturing facilities, spoken with the owners, and know a little bit about them. If you want to learn more about that, go ahead and check out the article right here. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.